Hey guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to show you how to do some basic color grading in DaVinci Resolve. So we can take footage that looks like this. And in today's example, we'd like it to be more vibrant. So we can make it look something like this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is drag your footage into the timeline. And then we're going to select our footage, come down to the colors tab and click on that. Now everything over here is how we're going to adjust the color grading of the video. So I would highly recommend playing around with this, but for this example, we can see that the footage is quite gray and mellow in color. So I'd like it to pop a bit more. So down at the bottom left, we have a color boost. So just simply by dragging this, as you can see, the colors are much more vibrant already. If we play through, we also have the temp option up here. If we adjust this to the left, it adds a bluer color, a colder effect to the footage which looks really nice in this example. The lift section plays around with the blacks in the footage. So if you drag it to the left, you'll notice the blacks become more intense and richer. And if we go to the right, it becomes lighter. The gamma adjusts the midtones of the footage. So if we increase this, you can see it's brighter. If we drag it to the left, it's once again darker. We have a shadow option. So dragging to the left will make the shadows more rich and dragging to the right will make them less prevalent in the footage. As we'd like this to pop more, we can increase the saturation as well as the color balance. And as you can see now, it's extremely vibrant. If we play through, we can see it looks a lot more eye catching. However, we can see that the person in the footage is extremely red, which obviously we don't want because it looks strange. What I would recommend doing here is slightly decreasing the contrast. As you can see, if we decrease it slightly, slightly less red. We can also increase the gamma slightly and also the offset. Now if we press play, the red is less prevalent. We can come back to shadows, decrease the shadows to make the brightness on the face look slightly less unrealistic. It's also worth slightly tweaking the saturation to make it a little bit lower because you can see the landscape is still extremely vibrant and popping. And as we come along, the person's coloration is now more natural. As a final tweak, we can lower the lift slightly just to keep the richness and the depth of the color, increase the gamma. Now, if we go through the coloration, it's much more natural. It's extremely bright and eye catching. And as we go through the landscape, it looks a lot better. And if we compare it to the original footage, which is just here, you can see they are completely different. So there you go guys, that is the basics on color grading. There are a lot more advanced concepts and a lot more to this, but I just wanted to give you guys the basic understanding so you can begin doing this. I highly recommend playing around because that is the best way to get a hang of it and you will pick it up in no time. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you again very soon.